Daniel and his cousin Gia are about to play Ancient Quest, their favorite board game. As he sets up the game pieces, Daniel asks Gia about the order they'll play in. She says they can decide in a minute, after she grabs some snacks. But Daniel insists that they decide on the order now. Daniel offers for her to go first and for him to go second. Gia agrees and heads to the kitchen. While she's out of the room, Daniel reorders the cards that go with the game. He puts all the best cards second. Then, Daniel chooses his favorite game piece, a tiny figurine of an old wizard, Father Time. Gia sits back down and they start the game. She goes first and draws a bad card. She shrugs it off. It's only the beginning of the game. Then Daniel draws his card. It's a good one. It takes his game piece, Father Time, way ahead of Gia's. On the next turn, the same thing happens. Gia draws a bad card, and then Daniel gets a good one. When the same exact thing happens on the third turn, Gia says she's changed her mind and actually wants to go second. Daniel panics. He doesn't want Gia to know he's rigged the game, but he also can't bear to lose. Daniel hates losing. He has to win, always, no matter what it takes. Daniel tells her she can't go second. They've already started playing and they decided on the order fair and square. Gia looks at Daniel suspiciously, then down at the pile of cards. When she accuses Daniel of cheating, he denies it. Gia asks him to prove it. The only option is to give Gia her way, because that's the thing about Daniel. He hates losing at anything, even an argument. They continue the game with a new turn order. Gia, now going second, draws good cards, and Daniel, going first, draws bad ones. It's not long before Gia wins. Daniel slams his fist down on the game board in anger and demands a do-over, but Gia refuses. She knows he ordered the cards this way on purpose. She's not going to play again with a cheater, a cheater who is now also the loser of the game. This is too much for Daniel. He's not a loser, he's a winner. He grabs Father Time and yells, One. More. Game. The game piece in his hand starts to flicker with heat. Then, Daniel hears something. He looks down at Father Time. It seems like this game piece is whispering something to him. But that's the last thing he sees before. Daniel and his cousin Gia are about to play Ancient Quest, their favorite board game. Gia gets up to go to the kitchen. Daniel reorders the cards. They start the game. The first three turns go just the way they did before. But this time, on the fourth turn, Gia doesn't suspect anything at all. They keep playing, and Daniel wins! Just as he's about to celebrate, the game piece in his hand grows hot again. And then, the game board snaps back to the beginning of the game. Gia gets up to go to the kitchen. Daniel reorders the cards. They start the game. Daniel wins this round too, but right as he does, it's back to the beginning of the game. And over, and over, and over again. Daniel keeps winning, and winning, and winning. Eventually, he gets bored. In the middle of what must be their 20th game, he asks Gia if they can take a break. But she can't seem to hear him. She just takes her turn and keeps playing. Daniel tries to not take his next turn, but out of his control, his hand chooses a card and moves Father Time across the board. He's hot to the touch again. One. More. Game. Whispers a faint voice, coming from the direction of the board game. But it's not one more game. It's many more games. Many, many more games. And Daniel wins every single one of them. He can't seem to stop playing, no matter what he does. Daniel loses track of time. The game resets, as usual. Gia goes to the kitchen, as usual. Daniel starts reordering the cards, as usual. And then, Daniel has an idea. He knows what he has to do. As painful as it is, Daniel orders the cards with all of the bad ones for his turn and all the good ones for Gia's. They start the game, Gia picks a good card, Daniel picks a bad one. Gia picks another good card, Daniel picks another bad one. Father Time grows colder in Daniel's hand each turn. When Gia wins the game, the game board does not reset. Instead, Daniel hears himself yelling, One more game! 
but in an old man's voice. Daniel rushes to the mirror in the entryway. In the reflection, he sees an old man, as old as Father Time. 